Nick is gonna clap his hands. Yes, welcome to the game show. It's not a game show. I'm yes. What? It's a game show. No, it's not. Whatever you say. <laughs> Oh, man, it's been we, a while, dude. We were gone for a little bit. Most people like consistency, you know? Do a do a show every week and do episodes, and, like, Joe Rogan puts out, like, three or four a week or whatever we fun not stuff. We Joe Rogan. No, we'll never be. <laughs> but uh, Matt was like, hey, I can't come and do a podcast with you anymore because my wife said you're a bad friend, you call me fat, and you bully me yep. to be a better me. And you take me on shows away from my family. So yeah. I got COVID sickly. Yep. And I tried to kill all my family so that we could be better friends. Yeah, there's there's truth to what Nick just said. Mm-hmm. It's your job to figure out what part is truth. All of it. I've never lied to you. You have maybe never lied to me, but you have lied to the people. I, no. Yes. I don't lie. You do lie. You You are full of shit. I've never lied. I mean, I, you've never lied to me, so I can't call you on it. But yeah, see? You've, you've had to have lied. What do I have to gain from lying to you? Uh, Well, nothing from me. From our listeners, you have their respect. I don't want their respect. Okay, well, I guess you can turn off the podcast now. Uh. Don't respect me. <laughs> I'm human garbage. You don't, I don't, you don't need your, you don't need to, res- you don't mean, fuck oh you. Oh my. I don't need your respect. Oh man, I can't look at you without your your beard. Yeah, I had a tragic uh, event in my life. Um, uh, I cut my beard. You shouldn't have. Whatever, dude. Was it humbling <sighs> when you when you did it? Because like that feels like I've shaved like once in the past like uh, I don't know three years. Like since I got fat, I've shaved once, and I was like, this was a mistake. And you've gone the opposite. You've yeah. you gone and you've lost a lot of weight yep. but my friend you shaved and you still the double chin is still there i know that's the crazy part <laughs> like that had to be but it's so much smaller than it was before yeah i'm sure it is if the, i shaved the gullet if i shaved is, the the gullet the double chin it would be dude, you fucking enormous you're the gobbler from wawa you fucking loser the gobbler from the gobbler turkey bowl you got a oh, gobbler. I thought they had like a mascot, like oh, no. <laughs> like the, the hamburger or something. <laughs> you get so much pussy. I was like, I ain't never the, seen the Wawa the cl- mascot. You're the clam burglar. <laughs> Give me all that pussy. I'm the clam burglar. Blah, 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 blah. Eat pussy. Oh, hell yeah, dude. But I don't, I don't like you without a beard. I'm a better man without one. I don't think you are. I am. I don't think that's accurate. Watch this. Look, ready? That does nothing. It does everything. No. It does too. No. We were all pretty convinced that, Kazi's that you just shaved in honor of Pride Month. Yeah. Yeah. Because I got to have a slick dick eater. <laughs> and you, you, <laughs> you do. I can't uh, be having no penis traction on my <laughs> face, dude. Oh, man, yeah. dude. And you got that tattoo on the bottom of your chin. I didn't even know that was there this whole time. I don't need, Can you see it, America? I don't even know you, dude. I'm, you, who is this guy? I'm a fucking rebel, dude. What's the tattoo on the bottom of your chin say? You want to know what it says? Yeah, the, I asked. You want to know what it says? I. You want the truth? I do want the truth. You can't handle the truth. It says unforgiving. The. What? That's. It says, that's what it says. Unforgiving. But why, Nick? Why were you like, this is what I want to tattoo? So I was dating this I was chin. dating this girl, and uh, when we broke up, I was like, fucking tattoo my face, dude. Tattoo <laughs> tattoo my chin. Not quite your face. That no, I was like, I was like, I know. It, I don't want to have to see it when it ru- I look it in runs, It runs up like right to the cusp of my face. But I was like, dude, tattoo, I want, this is what I want. I was like, I want unforgiving on my chin. That way when I Why, see her. Why, did you like break up with her because you were like, I'm never going to forgive you? No, she was she was a floosie. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what it sounds she like. Was <laughs> she was a harlot. She was a whore. <laughs> she was a dirty. You slept with my best friend. I'm never going to forgive you. Yeah. Unforgiving. That's how that went down. She was trying oh, to shit. fuck. She was trying to fuck my friend who was also my boss. Behind the one my, that called you autistic? Behind my back, different one. Different boss. He, yeah, he was special. But he was trying to bang my lady, and then I found out, and I was like, oh, you're both dead to me. 
But I got this tattoo, and I was like, make, make it say unforgiving, so that when I see her, I could look down at her, mm-hmm. and I could, I could keep my chin up very high, <laughs> and I'll look keep down your chin at her. Up, bud. Dude, yeah, I was dude. like, exactly. I, was I like, don't know why I questioned you. I was like, I could, you've, I would look down my nose at her. <laughs> you've thought, you've covered all your bases, dude. Yeah. I also, had this idea that up, dude. I also had this idea that like one day, dude, she's gonna come around, she's gonna suck my dick. Was she a midget? No. Oh. She was not an M word. Is that good? Uh, are you not allowed to say midget? No, nah, it's anymore? okay, dude. You're allowed. Am I or am I not? You're. I mean, I know this is a safe place. You don't. You don't follow any PC rules. You're Latinx, dude. You're allowed to say midget. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you trying to say all Latinx people are midgets? No, but you're una persona pequeña. <laughs> you're a little girl. <laughs> I don't know what you say when you the A at the end. It's upsetting that I am Puerto Rican and you know more Spanish than me, because yeah. I know none. Yeah, I know. That's upsetting. No habla nada. Yeah. You don't speak any. You don't speak the S word. Spanish. Is Spanish a Spanish word? Espanol. <laughs> Oh uh, man, that's funny though, dude. You got unforgiving. So yeah, so I was keep like, your chin up. <clears throat> yeah, I was like, so I'll, I'll. She had to be shorter than you, right? No, we're so we're actually about it. the same height. Oh, God, but my dude. thought was like, I'll fucking, I'll, I'll tilt my head up bitch. and I'll look I'm down look at her. Down on a. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna look down at her and I'll be like, oh, God, don't forgive you for what you did to me. See this? Or at one point <laughs> in my head, I was like, she's gonna come around and she'll regret it and she's gonna suck my dick one day and I'll just, she'll be looking up and that's what she'll see. It's just gonna say unforgiving. I'll be like, top of her head. Uh, mushroom stamp her face and be like, <laughs> "Don't forget it." But oh, man, um, dude, that's good. And then, like through years of like personal growth, I was like, "No, nah, whatever, man, it's okay." So I kind of did forgive her, but I never forget. Well, yeah. So you my, can't. You have that thing tattooed on your face. Yeah. So my goal that's is the, that's the good parts of tattoos. Yeah. You I mean, I love it. I like the tattoo. Don't get me wrong. It's dope. My you shouldn't. Whatever, dude. It was an interesting experience. I had my head pushed over like the table, so I was like completely upside down as he's like pushing my head underneath the fucking table to tattoo standing? my chin. He was like literally standing over me in my fucking. If this was the table, my head was like tilted up, so I'm like looking at, at the wall. Crotch. I'm like looking like this at the wall for like an hour while he fucking tattooed my chin. But he was like standing like to the side and moving around so he didn't put his dick in my face. That would have been unforgivable. (laughs) I will never forget this, dude. (laughs) Uh, I've thought about adding to both sides just to make it say this unforgiving world so that it seems so that it fits the whole shin, the whole chin. Yeah. But that's um, what don't. Don't do that. You should stop with the tattoos. Shut up. You have too many. I don't have enough. I still have space. You still have space. You still have skin. Yeah, dude. We are the opposite human. You guys see all that? All that sick yam meat, dude? Fucking. I got a Grinch tattoo. I see that. Yep. That's one of my favorites. Got, got too a, many, dude. I got what a, was your first one? My first tattoo? Yeah. Uh, I got this fucking. All right, look. I'm not showing oh, you my god. I'm not showing you my dick, but it's this look. <laughs> so I was like 16 and my friends H- and I AF is that what it, it says? It says HAC. HAC? Yeah, dude. We're going to get this one taken down. But this so I was You're like too much sexy. Nah. <laughs> he lost all that weight now he's trying to pull his penis out on a podcast. <laughs> AJC, dude, cover it up. Dude, what's that stand for? I'm Blobby Lee. Bobby Lee. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? <laughs> You're Santino. Uh, that's fu- flip you it. should be more Santino than me. I Bobby Mom. <laughs> I'm Bobby Mara. I Bobby Mara. I Bobby oh, Mom. <laughs> I Blobby Lee. Blobby. <laughs> blur, blur, blur. Uh, no, I was in a graffiti gang when I was like, I was a kid. Uh, I was like 16 and uh, I was in this like graffiti crew. This was after you destroyed that house that we talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where was, you just ripped the water mains. Yeah, I was <laughs> double that age basically. I was like I was like 8 then and then 16 when I did that stuff. Jesus Christ. But uh the stuff yeah, you've so, done is unforgivable. I know. But my buddy was like, "Dude, let's fucking do this." And I was like, "Yeah." So we used I used a needle, some India ink and a fucking like string and I wrapped the string around the sewing needle 
and then you dip the needle in the ink and then you just fucking stick and poke. It took so long, dude. It fucking hurt. So you were stick and poking like with your hand? Hold, yeah. Take a needle in your hand and dip it in the ink with the yeah. string at the end of the needle and then you just fucking jab it like each little dot on that there. That wasn't is. small. No, it took, that's what I'm saying. It took so long. Jesus, dude. It's big. For anybody, it's like, it's, Easily the size of like a silver dollar. Yeah. At least. I don't know about that, dude. When's the last time you saw a silver dollar? I don't know. It's probably like a quarter. It's bigger than a quarter? No, nah, it's a quarter. It's it's a JFK. No. It's a silver dollar, dude. No. Okay, maybe it's in the middle. Susan B. Anthony? Aren't? Second Julian? Wait, aren't JFKs? Those are 50 cents. Yeah, but that's a big one. Yeah, but that's not a silver dollar thing. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's over a half dollar. Whatever, dude. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to fucking blow your head off. Oh, man, that's... Pume. That's mean. Stay away from that grassy knoll. <laughs> I shall. <laughs> oh, dude, have you been outside? Uh, whenever this comes out, tonight is the night when we're getting all the Canada smoke. It smells so good outside. I just thought my neighbors were cooking. No, dude, that's Canada burning down. Uh, well. <laughs> the smoke... The, so much for your free health care, you stupid idiot. Smells so good, dude. But look, okay, so that was that was my first tattoo, right? Yeah, yeah. But the first like real professional tattoo that I got was have you ever have you seen this one? I don't know. It's the you fucking haven't told me which one it is yet. The the unicorns on the back of my leg. They're unicorns Where? heads. Where is it? Right here, dude. Where? Don't get gay, dude. <laughs> He's spreading my fucking legs up. Dude, push I it, don't see push any it up. It's right bro. here. Right All here. Right, I'm dude, pointing. Let's get in there. Yeah, dude. Where is it? It's that. That? Yeah. It doesn't look like... Those oh, are wait. unicorns. Oh, it's because this the one horns? doesn't have color. No, yeah. it does. One's pink. No, that's yes. white, bro. That, no. One's purple and it's, one's white. It's pink and purple. One's They're fucking unicorns. purple and one is white with freckles like no. a ginger. The unicorn skin. No, that was... Okay, that was pink. I've had that shit since. You ain't seen it so long you just remember it as it was? Yeah. So Why does it have It was fucking... like bubblegum pink. It was pink <laughs> and purple. Why does it have Freddie Mercury's hair, bro? Dude. Because they're, they're fucking androgynous. <laughs> they're locked up. And no, it says it's a straight up underneath it. <laughs> that was the first tattoo I got. You know what? I traded a that pair That shit is of... straight up gay, bro. That's what that is. You are dude. a fucking hater. <laughs> You're a fucking hater. He but, got two unicorns. One of them got Freddie Mercury's hair, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but that was like my first tattoo that I got like at a shop. I was uh I was like eighteen and my buddy Davy my buddy like, David No, nah, I was friends with everybody that worked there. I was like eighteen or nineteen. My friend Davy did it and I traded him a pair of vans when I was that was when I was managing journeys. Okay. So I bought a pair of vans with my you discount. Stole those? No. Come on. I did steal a pair of Onisuka Tigers and I wore them on a date and then I got fired. But I had a pair of Toms at the time. So I was wearing a pair of Toms and I was like, fuck this, dude. I'm, I'm going on a date. I need new shoes for my date. Yeah. I'm about to go out was with it this girl. Was date with the girl who you then got the tattoo? No, 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 no. <laughs> Completely different girl. But that girl was way taller than me. But I went on a date with this Amazonian. He's our short, thick king, dude. Yeah, yeah. Young short king. <laughs> Shorty boy. Uh, you see how you remove thick? He's like, not me. Not no more, dude. No, I'm a thick papa. <laughs> Thicky Nicky. Uh but I was like, I can't be wearing no fucking Tom shoes. I can't wear these fucking like Why, dude? That means you yep, that's good, bro, because every time you wear Toms, you buy Toms, some I didn't orphan <clears throat> or something, whatever the rule is, gets a pair of Toms. I didn't want her to think I was a fat ninja, so I changed <laughs> I changed Beverly I, Hills ninja, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you are Chris Farley, bro. <laughs> oh. But I took the I took the Toms and I put them in the box of Onisuka Tigers and I took the Tigers out and I wore them on my date and then like a week later I got fired and my Toms were still in that box. I put a note on them that said I would pay for them when I got like paid <laughs> and uh, my boss, the dude that tried to sleep with Why'd my... Why'd you get fired? Uh, uh, I was... I got fired for being naked on the internet in the back room. I put, oh, I remember uh, this I story. Took a, yeah, I took a picture of my penis and I <laughs> uh, I put it on the internet. <laughs> so so they fired. They weren't happy about it, and I got fired. But 
Oh, I shit. I was gonna I wrote a little note on top of those <laughs> shoes that I was gonna pay for them on I'm payday. Gonna be, bro, and, you're and working then, at Journeys, dude. Everyone who's worked at Journeys has awesome. sent a dick pic. Dude, <laughs> what's crazy? I had so many friends that were managers for that company that would fuck girls in the back room. But you can't send a dick pic? No. Apparently. <laughs> they don't like it. <laughs> The best. You seem still heartbroken yeah. that you got fired, dude. dude. Okay, so there's a really <laughs> funny, there's a really funny story in there, but so, okay, so here's what happened. <laughs> so I did that. There was this website called Is Anyone Up, right? Okay. Me and the girl I was dating at the time, the girl that I actually got the tattoo for, right? Oh, great. So, so me and her were dating. And I was fucking miserable. I hated working there. I was so depressed. <laughs> I like, I almost, I was like gonna fucking unalive myself. That's what they say on TikTok. <laughs> I was gonna fucking trigger up, dude. And I was like, I can't fucking do this job anymore. I worked so much and I was making no money. And the only day off I had, like I had like two days off every other week or some stupid shit. And I was like, man, the only fucking time I have off, I don't want to go look for another job and deal with rejection. Yeah. I was just yeah. like, I'm stuck here. I'm fucking stuck here. How old are you at the time? 18, you early, said? I was in my early 20s at that point. Okay. I was like... Uh, so you already have these I, unicorns I have, on your yeah, body. No, no. I've, I've got plenty at this point, right? Okay. So I'm well established in, in the tattoo <laughs> fucking game. You know what I mean? I paid, That's where you spend your two days off. I got my city... Yeah, tattoos. Basically. I got my city miles. Okay. But um, my buddy Matt was like... Not me. No. Different Matt. He was he was actually uh, in a band and shit, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But he was like, there's this website called Is Anyone Up? And he like he kept trying to submit fucked up pictures of himself and his girlfriend to get on the website because he thought it would be funny. I'm confused. What is the premise of this site? So this website, it's like a, a website. Because like to me, the, 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 the website. So the website was like. Shut up, I'm talking. And let me explain to you. Well, I'm, I want to guess. Okay, you can guess. Okay, based Go. off it saying, is anyone up? It sounds like you're looking to find someone who is up and then you send stuff. But the way he, that guy just described it, it seems like you're just posting you and your partner. So people could like, I guess you could like self-submit, right? But um, basically what it was is like, it was almost like a revenge site. So like dudes or girls would like be dating these people or whatever. You'd get nudes from somebody and then you would like... Once it, they break up with you, you leak Yeah, nudes. people, there, there was like... There was all these sections they called these they would call all the ugly girls nargoyles. So it would just <laughs> be like fat girls naked with their fucking <laughs> legs spread and shit. And there'd be all these like gross ass looking people on there. And they legit called them nargoyles. <laughs> and the whole there was like a they, they Is had, that the section that your bosses found you in? No. Nah, <laughs> but they were like, Nick, dude, you wanna it. be getting fired so if look, you weren't in the nargoyles. So section. there was like a whole thing like they had a phrase like no butthole, no care. So like it, if it was just a regular nude, people were like, man, whatever. So then there was like a hashtag and <laughs> NBHNC, no butthole, no care. Is that what you got tattooed on you? No, no, no. But look, so listen. So the thing was like, people would fucking, if you dated somebody and they cheated on you, whatever, fucking send in their shit and you're like, put them on there. But make sure there's a, butthole. put them on blast. Right. Yeah. But people could self submit and you'd be on there. Well, so my buddy Matt kept talking about how, like, he kept getting rejected. They were like, no, we're not putting it up there. Like, just stupid shit. Him and his girl, like, he thought it'd be funny to get on there. He kept trying. So my girlfriend and I, my girlfriend and I at the time thought it would be funny to do the same thing. You got on there first. So I, like, she sent in my picture and it was like two or three different pictures and shit. And it, sure enough, fucking next thing I know, it like goes up on the website. I'm sitting at dinner with my friend and his girlfriend. My girlfriend's at home and I'm texting her about it and my phone's blowing up. Dude, you got on. Like, you're on there. You're on there. You're on there. What circle of degenerates did you run in that <clears throat> journeys Dude. was like, they were, they saw it. So Dude. that means they obviously were part of that circle. So Right, but it's all like, tattooed like it's the fucking like hardcore community or whatever like that like alternative whatever scene so it was like all these people doing that right but i get on there and it's titled journey's employee takes nudes at work oh no and it's literally just a picture who of me titled with, it like that the fucking people from the website how did they know you worked at journey they could tell there was a journey's like a fucking doc martin shoe sign in the background a lot of, of places picture. sell doc martin's that's what i cock martin's 
<laughs> That's what they should have titled it, dude. I know. But, uh, yeah, they fucking got me. <laughs> the, so the crazy thing was when my district manager came. But how could they? Was your face in the so, picture? Yeah. Oh, come on. There was dude. one with my. It was just one with me, soft meat. Because <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. So it's just me, soft meat, just holding it. I thought that was really funny. And then there was another one of me, like, laying on my back, like, holding it up. Where were you? There, I was wh- in my bed. So the other one's, like, me just fucking pieced How, up. What, 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 well, then why did... You're in your bed? Yeah, but it was, like, a zebra stripe blanket. But where's the Doc Martin? How do they know the you first, were the journey? It was the soft meat one. The soft meat one. The soft one. meat one was what did me in. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. That was soft, fucking, meat, soft meat dick pics were normally what did me in, too, yeah, buddy. No, <laughs> that was flashed up. And they were like, no, no, no. I bet if I was fucking steel hard, they'd have been like, all right, we let him work here for another couple months. But so I'm like, that's over the weekend. I think that's on like a Friday, right? So I'm like all weekend. I'm like, holy shit, dude, this is so crazy. I was off the whole weekend. I'm like, oh my God, dude, this is is wild. And I was working for the boss that had like tried to sleep with my girl at the time, right? And we'd like kind of somewhat put it behind us. I'm like, whatever, man, fuck it. It is what it is. Wait, so that, but you said it was that girl. You're yes, still look, with her. I'll, I'll get, oh yeah, so I'll get there. We, whatever. It wasn't until like after we'd like officially like broken up, broken up that I got the tattoo. Okay. But uh, so <laughs> it's the weekend, and I'm like looking at the comments. I'm looking at all these people being like, yeah, "Oh shit, you gotta see if they like McD's, your dick." Like whatever. Oh my god, whatever. Blah blah dick blah. Dick D's, baby. There was somebody from Journeys commented and said. This poor bastard was just trying to get some girl wet. Little does he know he's getting fired on Monday. Someone from Journey? Like from the HR department? They cannot fucking be serious, bro. So the Journey's HR department is on this fucking yeah. smut website leaving comments. Yeah. And then they fire you. Dude, we got a case. So bro. so let's, I'm like, let's I'm in the know. I'm already like, oh, fuck, dude. I got a bad feeling. I show up to work on Monday. My boss is there. So it's me and my store manager. And, and how wet were you trying to get her? That's the we journey. Were, I wasn't even trying to that. I just thought it was yeah, funny. The, I mean, the journey's one's your, your soft pee-pee. I know. That's not getting anybody the other, wet. It was, yeah, it was like a fucking a ha-ha shot and then a, a hey, what's up shot, you know? It was like ha, soft, soft, flaccid bird. <laughs> just soft fucking. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> we but get then it. the other one was like fucking, you know, the hilt of the sword. Yeah. <laughs> But when I showed up to work on Monday, my fucking boss was there. And then my district manager walked in and I was like, this is probably not good. <laughs> so I'm like, he's there for hours. And I'm like, well, do you, are you just working? Yeah. So I worked a full shift. They were waiting to see if it brought in customers. Dude. No. So I get the full shift and he goes, uh, come with me. I need you to come with me. He brought me to the food court. And he actually, afterwards, so this is the funny part. He told my boss afterwards, he brought me into the food court because he didn't want me to freak out. Like, he was like, I thought that he was going to fucking get pissed off and he was going to fucking try to fight me. (laughs) He was like, I thought that he was going to fucking, like, fire off on me. And I was like, no, dude, look at that picture. I was soft. There's nothing to fire. (laughs) You know, I wasn't erect. But he shows me the picture in the middle of the food, the food court. court. So I'm in the middle of the food court. And it looks like he's breaking up with me. He's like sitting across the table <laughs> from me. He fucking, he goes, all right, so uh, I need to talk to you about something. And I'm like, fuck dude. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking I'm going to get yelled at. Like I'm in trouble. Like, yeah. dude, what the fuck? Like I got to write you up, whatever. Yeah. No big deal. And, uh, he slid the phone across and he goes, I need you to explain this to me. And I looked at the picture and immediately go, Ah, uh, fuck. And I started like, just, I'm like, uh, dude. Um, I was like, well, it's not what it looks like. I was like, I'll be honest with you. The picture that I took did not have that black square. What? There was, he, he showed me a picture that was sent to him from HR, but they put a black square over my dick. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, th- my picture did not have that square that he was like yeah i gathered that you idiot that wasn't there i was like that picture's been altered <laughs> and he was like dude what the fuck and i went i don't know man <sighs> i'm working he, in a mall dude i'm 20 years old so yeah and sometimes he's like, i get fucking so bored. he's like what happened so then immediately what happened there wasn't a gun to my head what do you mean what happened i told him i'm like well you know me and shana th- that was the girl i was dating at the time and he's like 
I'm like, we thought it'd be funny to like put the picture on there. You know, I, I was like, I didn't put it. I sent it to her and then she posted it, you know, blah, 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 blah. And he goes, so she helped. And I was like, yeah. Did she work there? She was a manager at another journey oh. store. So then she got fired and I didn't say anything to her. So she got fired <laughs> and she's like, she, she called bitch. me, she called me crying and she's like, I don't know what happened. I can't believe I got, how did I get fired too? Like, this is so <laughs> crazy. But she loved that job, dude. She was like, man. Well, yeah, she was having sex with you. She well, was having sex with the other guy. She, so at that point I got moved back to that dude's store and she so you ended didn't up get getting, fired? she ended up getting her own store. So when this happened, she was managing a store. I was an assistant manager at another store. And my manager, who, like, the two of them had a thing behind my back. Like, Those whores. Yeah, it was this crazy fucking triangle. But I got fired and threw her under the bus. And then he yeah. went and fired her. Yeah. And she was devastated. Like, her life was ruined. And I remember one time in an argument. She thought she peaked at Journey's manager? Dude, one time in an argument, I threw her like threw it out there like I'm the reason you got fired. And she fucking dude, she started crying so she was like so devastated. I'm working on a fucking Foot Locker now. She's like, what? I, the I hadn't fuck? made a journeys. I gotta work at Aeropostal. I'll work at Onions Pretzel Place, man. You know what it's like? I'm getting fucking calories just by smelling that sweet, sweet air. I'm rolling fucking pretzel dogs all day, and you're over here with your fucking ding dong. <laughs> Uh, oh, because of your soft penis, Nicholas? Yeah, dude, but <laughs> that's what she gets. Oh, um, dude, that's awesome, bro. Yeah. That's awesome. That was how that happened. I used to work at a putt-putt course, and I, <laughs> <laughs> I would jerk off in the office. What? Before I was like, I'd get off. I'd get out of high school. I'd come to the putt-putt place. And then it was like I was the only one there. Not not golfing games. Yeah, <laughs> I was put putting around. And fuck, <laughs> daddy. <laughs> and you're gross, dude. Yeah, I know. You're I know. S- you're a sick piece of shit. <laughs> and there'd be nobody there. So it's like two o'clock. You get out of. That's when high school lets out. Nobody, no adults are going to the driving range. All the kids. They're it's not pe- a driving range either. It's well, there's. Putt-putt. Well, there was a driving range and a putt putt course a and a batting cage. Yeah. Oh, you were at like a multi house, huh? Yeah, but like nobody, all the like kids that would come there for putt putt, like their parents aren't off work, so they're not playing putt putt. They're not at the batting cage because you need parents that are off to bring. Did you, you there. touch and the, the fucking, driving range? Uh, the the like, putters and the baseball bats after you touch your wiener? Oh yeah. You're gross. I mean, I wash my hands. You're sick. Sometimes you're sick, man. I, it is what it is, dude. But I never got fired. You deserved it. But I didn't post about it either. Man, I can't I believe didn't that make that a that podcast. I, I, I'm so excited that this later. is our. I know this is our first <laughs> episode back. You know, you had COVID. We took like a couple weeks off. I lost that was my the truthful beard. Part. Uh, that was true. You did get. He did get COVID. Um, he. Yeah, he died. Came back to life. I had to bring yep. him back. Oh man, dude, would you rather be if the you're in a relationship, yeah. y'all have a kid? Would you rather be now? You don't have like a toddler, so it's not quite the same. Would you rather be the first person of the adults to get sick or the second person to get sick? First, first. Mm-hmm. I don't know, dude. I think second's better. Really? Yeah, because so I got sick first, and then. Rachel got sick and like when you're the first one to get sick, it's like when you, especially when you have kids, like you, when you get sick, they, they don't like it because now they got to carry all the weight of being the Mm. parent. And then when they get sick, now you're both sick, but you recover first. So then you're expected to So now you're supposed to, now you're Uh, helping. Okay, I'll flip. Yeah, I'll flip that. Okay, I agree with that. So it it was rough. It was rough. Rachel's so much better at being, like, good, though, about, like, she carries so much more weight than me, dude, when it comes to our family. It's insane. It's weird because you're the bigger one. Yeah. I mean, I definitely carry more walking weight. Blurp. Water weight, too. (laughs) Yeah, water. Yeah, you fucking will. (laughs) All the kinds of weight except for, like, what helps our family. (laughs) Financial weight. But she... He makes plastic dildos. (laughs) 
Pee pee wrangler. You're the uh, penis. <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's where you're stopping <laughs> i'm just the penis come on man that's not even clever <laughs> I'm just the penis. <laughs> you're just being mean nowadays dick <laughs> oh no dude you fucking pompous ass but she's like so she's like taking care of me taking care of the kids and then she gets sick and i'm like oh that sucks you want some ginger ale and crackers that's about that's about like that's yeah. my only nursing you know the health ability. worst part like when i got covid the first time so i felt like quasimodo because i had to stay upstairs yeah. for like the first so this is like the weird part so like the first like four or five days michelle was like don't come near me yeah she i had to sleep upstairs on an air mattress and uh fucking she was like, uh-uh, you can't come down here. Yeah. So, like, I was pissing in a jug upstairs. Pissing in a jug, dude. I was pissing in a jug. I was pissing in a jug. <laughs> and I went, like, four days without a shower. That's I would insane. only come downstairs to shit and, and dump the jug out. Ours? But she, uh, like... But she that would, was when, like, COVID was dude, first that, Yeah, off, so that right? was, like, when That's... COVID was still pretty big. But, like... So she was like, I'm not fucking, get, I don't want it. I don't want to get it. I can't let the kid get it. Because they were like, it was before they started letting you vaccinate kids and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, fuck no. Uh-uh. She would go out and be like, she'd be like, what do you want for dinner? And I'm like, I don't fucking know. What, like, whatever. It doesn't matter. So, like, I remember multiple nights she would get, like, Wendy's. This is before I started eating any better at all. Yeah. I will get, like, a spicy chicken sandwich and a spicy nugget meal with, like, a Coke or whatever. And uh, she would just Stop. call fucking making the table squeak dude you can't hear it through the mic dickhead i can hear it right now stop it i'm gonna lose it man but she would fucking text me or like she would facetime me and be like your food's on the steps and you would <laughs> your food's on the steps and i'd have to fucking... down like the fan of the opera grab it and go back yeah <laughs> i was like eating mice in the roof <laughs> but there was so many times up there where i had covid so bad i was like i can't fucking taste it yeah I would eat the nuggets. And I'm like, they're spicy, but I can't tell. You know I could just feel many, my mouth feel hot. Do you know how many comics I've seen do? Uh, I've been. I started eating ass after COVID because you can't taste anything. I didn't uh, have. Oh my god! I never wrote that joke, but the joke that I had about COVID was like, I was eating so bad that when I got COVID, it just made the food taste better. Like I was eating exclusively fast food. Yeah, yeah. I lost my taste and smell. And was just like, dude, this tastes better. Better. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was yeah. exclusively eating, like, McDonald's and fucking Wendy's. And I lost my taste and smell. And I'm like, oh, this is good for me. Yeah. Like, but I you've was heard just... The com how many every comments comic have you heard do the dude. eating ass now that I can't taste because of COVID? Oh, dude, yeah. It's, it's such a hack premise. Mine was like... I felt like that was similar, but with the food element instead. Yeah, with a little spin to but it. But I'm like... Cause it went in like at the time I had all kinds of shit about like fast food. Like I yeah. originally, like when I was going to do the special, uh, me and Carlton had talked about it and I had all this, like I had like 15, at least 15 to 20 minutes written about like McDonald's shit. Yeah. Well, uh, the first time I ever saw you do stand up, you had a good section on mm -hmm. McDonald's where they like know your name shit like that. Yeah, I don't like that. Like it's weird cuz I don't like to do that chunk anymore at all now that I've lost the weight. Yeah. None of those jokes to me like they don't feel the same. Yeah. Like they don't hit the same way. Like I don't have that same like it's not fun. Like it feels like it's weird cuz it feels like stolen valor. I'm like, nah, I can't. Yeah, well, I don't want to do it, it anymore. You're being self-deprecating when you're not really Yeah. Like I you're said not something fat enough. Exactly. I said something at Funny Bone. So I'll take those jokes. On, yeah, right. They're Dude, mine now. You, whatever, man. You're more than welcome. I'll, <laughs> I'll let you have them. We could spin through them. You can take them. Uh, but I had said something Friday. I made some comment on stage. And this lady in the crowd, I had said something. And she's like, I'm like, oh, yeah. That lady's like, no, you're still fat, you fucking loser. <laughs> yeah, get him. The get his ass. No, she didn't say that. But like I'm saying like she said something. And I go, oh, you're just like, no, nah, dude, like you're still fat. Bro. Okay, you're still okay. fat. You fucking loser. And the crowd was like, what? You're not fat. <laughs> and I was like, I've lost enough weight that like if I call myself fat on stage, people are like, oh. Yeah. Because then oh, they don't <laughs> they don't want to oh. feel it. Yeah. When I call myself so fat, like, they're like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, I love my new bit about the water slides. I love that bit. Dude. Um, that went well. 
I've been trying, I've been trying to work on some new stuff. Uh, I think you and I talked about some of it. Uh, the edging thing, I, I want to work on that more, but I was telling my buddy, uh, about this at work. So I was talking about my dad and, uh, my dad, I feel like just like his whole life just had really like terrible luck. So like I remember my dad had surgery on his like neck. Okay. And after he had surgery on his neck, my dad would just pass out. What? Like, dude, he was like, he would <laughs> just black out. Like he would just be in the middle of like. There was no like, oh, if he turns it in his neck a certain way, dude, he blacks no. out. He just would. Random? He told me he would just like full on like. You know how like in cartoons when the robot runs out of battery, it just powers down? Yeah. That was my dad. <laughs> like he would just be like, and just fall. Just fucking blink. And just, that was it. Lights out. Like the open for business. And then they flip the sign. That yeah. was it. He was just <laughs> done. So that happened to my and dad. He couldn't feel, could he feel it coming? No. Over? So what? How he do had, you live life like that? Literally like just with a bad battery. Just. How do you? What? You can't go on hikes. With Dude, he wasn't going. Views. He wasn't going on hikes in the first place. <laughs> yeah, that's place. fair. That's fair. <laughs> I can't go hiking for fear of falling down a rock face. Oh no! Yeah, that's my fair. 450 that's pound point. dad is like. What do you mean I can't go hiking? <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if that's what he told I the doctors? Did, I remember the first thing he says. I remember walking. So one of the last times. <laughs> all right, before I forget. I remember walking through, I was with my ex-wife. I remember walking through fucking Journeys. Uh, Lynn Haven Mall. Or no, P Pembroke Mall. Pembroke Mall across from uh, Funny Bone Town Center. I'm walking through Pembroke Mall. My dad's behind us. And at one point, so I <laughs> turn around. And my dad is at least two football field lengths behind us. <laughs> and I could see him walking, like rubbing his legs while he's walking. And he's like leaning forward like he's... He's in that like same like stance as Master Splinter when he's looking <laughs> at the turtles, and I'm like, "Babe, go do go do what you gotta do. I'm gonna catch up with pops." So I waited like 15 minutes for him to finally <gasps> catch up to me. I didn't walk any closer to where he was, but what I waited good for son. him to get to me. And I'm like, "Dad, are you all right, man?" He's like, <sighs> 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 "He's like, dude, this heart medication they got me on is fucking me up, man." I don't know why. He goes, I can't ever breathe. He's like, and it makes me itch. And I looked down, and he had fucking like stigmata scratches all Jesus over his Christ. arm. Like, he had like bloody scabs all over his Jesus forearm. Jesus Christ, dude. But look, okay, so my dad is in the middle of a fucking Home Depot and lights out. He just fucking blacks out in the middle of Home Depot, falls, lands, just breaks his neck. What the fuck? He broke his neck. He calls me. He's like, "Hey, bud, how are you?" I'm like, "I'm good, man. What's up? Like, what are you, what are you up to, pops?" He's like, "I'm in the back of an ambulance." I was like, "What?" And he's like, "Don't get nervous, but I can't move my hands and legs. You're gonna have to wipe me. No. <laughs> You're gonna have to hold my dick and enjoy it. <laughs> Act like you care. Hold Papa's penis. <laughs> hold that thing. Hold that thought. But he's like." I can't move my hands and feet. And I was like, how'd you call me? He goes, they're holding the phone up to my head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, son, are you, are you there? It's a pot. It's a, fucking, it's a pothole and they just dropped the phone. He's like, they're holding the phone up to my head. And I was like, dude, what happened? He goes, I was in the middle of the store and I blacked out and just blacked out. And I woke up and like, I can't move anything. And I'm like, all right, let me know what hospital they're taking you to. I'll come see you. So I drive all the way down from Richmond. I get to the hospital in Virginia Beach to go visit my yeah. dad. And when I get there, I'm like talking to him. He goes, man, you'll never believe what your uncle told me on the phone. I'm like, what? He goes, he told me to tell the doctors that I stepped in a puddle and I slipped. <laughs> he goes, get your, the money. He said, your uncle told me that I need to sue Home Depot and tell him that I stepped in a puddle. I went, Pops, I'll be honest with you, man. That's got to be a big ass puddle for you to slip. <laughs> I was like, dude, you'd have to step in a fucking ocean to fall <laughs> down in the middle of Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> like, my dad was the only dude that, like, every time I'd see him, he'd be like, you never believe it, son. I've, I've lost 80 pounds yeah. since the last time you saw me. I'm like, dude, how much did you fucking gain? <laughs> I'm like, dude, Jesus, bro. 
man, I'm doing great, man. I'm down 130 pounds. I'm like, what fucking, how big did you get before? But was he actually smaller? No. Or he was just bullshitting? No, dude, I don't know. I, he never, he was never, and he, dude, he was like. He always looked the same. Dude, always. Little engine that could. He just, <laughs> always, every single time I'm like, you're the Dude, same. that's going to be me, dude. Yeah. Mask and be like, dude, I fucking lost 40 pounds, man. I can't wait till they take your leg. Diabetes. Diabetes. Diabetes took my feet. Dude, feats. every time I go get a physical, they're like, you're in perfect health. I'm like, no, I am not. But you're like, dude, that is a loose definition of perfect. Yeah. You're like, I mean, they're like, did you, you could lose um, some weight. But did you ever hear that? Like, what was the final result on your ball? Oh, uh, they just said it was a, like, a, a, is abrasion the word? It was bruised. Huh. Just a bruised ball. Because I've been having, I still been having issues with my fucking left. Dude, nut. that makes me so happy. You don't know how happy it makes me. How much shit you gave me, dude. For my it's testicle like testicle pain. And I'm so, I'm so. I don't even more have testicle pain. I don't me. even have a primary care doctor, and I'm like terrified because I don't want to just go to patient first and then get sent to the hospital. That's so what I'm they're like, gonna do. I've already told you. You're gonna just skip, skip patient first. If you need to, to get looked at, go straight to the ER because they have. The thing that's gonna, the the they're gonna petroleum, they're gonna ultrasound your ball back, dude. Have you talked about it on stage yet? No, I don't know how to talk about that on stage. Well, if you don't, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fucking. Ah, come on, now that's stolen valor, dude. I'll make my experience my experience. <laughs> I had a Russian guy hold my testicle at patient first, and he's like, I don't know, I don't even work here. I I should probably go do it again just to get it fresh in my mind, you know? Yeah. Just, just weren't like, you here last week? Yes. <laughs> the guy's just jerking off. Clean me. The patient Clean first. me. Yeah. Clean me. Um. Yeah, because it's been, dude. The other day it was so bad I could feel it in my stomach. Yeah, dude. The fucking pain in my testicle was so bad I could feel it in my lower abdomen. Yeah, that's how it was when I went. I was like, I gotta go. I gotta go to the doctor because this ain't, this ain't right. I was this sitting, ain't how the Lord made me. Yo. I was sitting. I got to go, dude. I was sitting on the side of the bed earlier, and <laughs> Michelle walked up to me, and I had my legs open. And so she stood in between my legs. She goes, "Put your legs around me," and I went, "What?" She goes, "Let me lift you," and <laughs> I was like, "No." She goes, "Let me pick you up off the bed. Lock your legs. I'm gonna pick you up." <laughs> and I was like, "Dude, I'm not fucking doing that. I'm not doing it." So I had my legs around her already. I was like, I'm not. So then she goes. Did she to, do it and kiss she, you like that fucking meme? Where no, but she. <laughs> she put you up the, against the wall. She goes, <laughs> she goes to lift me and I fucking freaked out and I slid forward and I crushed my balls <laughs> on the metal bar <laughs> on the bed frame. And immediately I was like, I'm going to fucking throw up. <laughs> Dude, it hurts so bad. Uh, I was like, this. dude, this is terrible. <laughs> We've talked so much about testicles this then episode I, and zero about our kids. I know. Welcome well, to Rad Dads. Here we go. <laughs> so I come out here and she says something to the kids. She's like, oh, she's like, Nicholas won't let me pick him up. Like, she won't let me pick him up. And I was like, you she sh won't let me pick him up. <laughs> sorry. Michelle was like, he won't let me pick him up. He won't let me pick him up. And I was like, she just crushed my ball bag into the side of the bed and he's sitting here on the couch and he's in tears laughing yeah he thought it was the absolute funniest shit yeah did i tell you what, what he was did? his joke when uh, i walked in he said okay so okay this so this is an interesting one did i tell you what he did he um so we have oh, the is there a microwave no it is an air filter it needs to be changed is that coming through <laughs> he's a bum <laughs> Um, okay. So he he just finished school. Nick's right? kid is a future fantastic comedian. Bro. He sky's gonna, the limit. Dude, he's going to be good. Sky's I'm the limit. I'm telling you, not in in all seriousness, not yeah. even like being funny like dude. It, he's made stuff, you so much funnier. I know. <laughs> the stuff he says is is fucking beautiful. I love it. But he uh so he finished school this year. Okay. And they were doing like their final day. They had their like pictures or like award ceremony, right? They're doing an award ceremony. We have a shower head in there that has a, a removable like hose. Like yeah. it has the, the sprayer, right? Yeah. He takes the sprayer. There's the hose from the sprayer and the actual shower head. 
He wraps the hose around his neck. <laughs> what the fuck? He wrapped the hose around his neck. <laughs> I'm not laughing at this. I'm not. <laughs> okay. He wrapped the hose around his neck and he starts slapping on the wall yelling for help. Michelle runs in the bathroom and he has the hose around his neck. And she starts freaking out. She's like, why would you do that? What are you doing? And he's like, I was testing you. I wanted to see if you could come save me in time. That is such a dangerous game, my friend. What the hell? So she's like, Frankie, oh my God, don't ever, don't ever do that again. Do you understand how dangerous that is? You could have died. Like, why would you do that? He's like, I don't know. I just wanted to see if you'd be able to protect me, if you could save me. And she's like, dude, don't ever do that again. She's like, what just, she goes, just know that no matter what, no matter what happens in your life, no matter what is like in front of you, mom will always, I will always be there for you no matter what. <laughs> and I will always, always, always be able to save you from anything that happens. Dude, that's the, 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 the polar opposite of what a dad would have said. A dad would have been like, you fucking idiot. I'm not going to be in there to save you. Dude. What the hell's wrong with you? But then, what if I wouldn't have made it in time? What is going on? But the, then, the moms and dads are so much different. I'm not going to be around all the time. What are you doing, you knucklehead? Dude, but <laughs> this is where the kid, like, his fucking timing is beautiful. He goes, anything? She goes, baby, anything. And he goes, all right, how about you save me from school next year? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is all a ruse. <laughs> all a ruse, dude. <laughs> oh, man, dude. He knew what he was doing the whole time. <laughs> what? He's, he's the evil mastermind. Dude. <laughs> I was like, yo, are you serious? But then after he got home from his <laughs> award ceremony, she sent me a picture. He got a fucking, like, a, a cord mark around his throat no he doesn't he had he had the y'all are getting cps called bro, on he you, straight dude. up had the mark it looked like doc ock fucking choked him out <laughs> Doc Ock. he literally had the the fucking tentacle mark around his Jesus, neck from the, the the shower cord it's so it's so bad that we're laughing at this but that's hilarious that's the he was like he's like don't forget my joke that's the joke that's hilarious literally he goes well, how about you save me from school next year? <laughs> and I was like, damn, dude, that's that's brilliant. Oh man, that's good. I did I wrote that one um the one joke I wrote this like last week or so that I was pretty excited about is um it's more in the therapy stuff. Okay. The thing about like um having a having a therapist that I was recommended to by a friend of mine is great because like Every week I show up, I find an excuse to like mention my friend. Yeah. Because I know that my therapist can't talk about him. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, uh, he's like, how was your weekend? I'm like, oh, it was great. I um, I did some shows. I actually, I saw John over the weekend. You know John. And he's like, no. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, dude, you know, you know John. Like, you know John, right? He's like, mm, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He's like, I don't know that person at Who's all. Who's John? And I'm like, yes, you do. I'm like, dude, you know John. He looks like he's like me, but older, fatter. You know, it's like we look just alike. <laughs> he looks, you know John. And he's like, I've never met that never person met before a John in, in my, my life. life. And I'm no, like, a single John. I go, okay, do we have to talk about gaslighting this week? Is that what we're learning? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I love a good gaslighting joke. I know you do. I love Stupid it. bitch. Stupid dumb bitch. <laughs> I wrote it on my grocery list. Um, yeah, but that was like a thing that I wrote that I was like, oh, that's funny. I like that. Um, Every once in a while, I forget to put the list in my pocket or something when I do that bit. And I get up there and I'm about to do it. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I left the fucking paper in my book. I don't have it in my pocket. And I try and do I still try and do the bit without the paper and it never works. Never you fucking prop comic. I know, right? You need the list there. It uh, when I pull it out, it instantly like uh, sets the mood. Oh man. My I I've enjoyed I've only done it once and it was funny. I think I told you and Aunt about it. Um so normally when I like if I think of something at home, I'll talk to Rachel about like my bits and stuff. Yep. And she almost always without fail she's like yeah i don't know i don't know that might not i don't think that's that funny and then those are my best bits those ones get the best reaction from the audience they love them i came out of the shower i thought of this when i was in the shower because like that's when i noticed how fat i am and i come out and i'm like i came up with it i got it i got a bit it's about 
Like last year when we were at Ocean Breeze, there's fucking weight limits on some of the rides. Yeah. And um, so I, t- I tell her this bit and she's like, that's hilarious. You need to tell it. So I was instantly like, ah, oh, fuck, this is going to be a bad bit. Is, is that the one? Um, were you talking about like how how heavy you can be? Did Yeah, yeah. This was this was the one I did at Kazi's. Okay, that's what I thought. Thursday. Yeah, because I'm like, dude. I'm like, wait a minute. I I know I've heard it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was dude, like, wait. Was... I think somebody has that joke, and I was like, no, no, no. I, I heard no, that. No, no, no. That's yeah, because I got the me. video of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need you to send that to me. Brother. Yes, I was actually gonna upload that after we finish all this. No, that dude. way I can send it to you before but you leave. I just thought it was so funny because like, as soon as she was like, "That's hilarious," I'm like, "That's this is yeah, gonna this bomb. Is a terrible this joke. is gonna be this is gonna be disaster," because normally it's the polar opposite. But it went well. It went very well. I was very pleased with the results of that. Dude, I had this thing that like um I haven't tried it on stage. I never tried it on stage. But it was a joke about like my dad. I remember we went to Ocean Breeze and like we were in the lazy river and somehow my dad managed to lose his glasses in the lazy river. <laughs> so like in the middle of the lazy river he just got off the raft and just stood in the middle of it and just started walking around like in the water <laughs> looking for his glasses. Just like bumping people in their tubes, just <laughs> knocking into people and shit. That, no cares in the world. At all. Yeah. None. Just this big fucking fat dude just bumping people. Dude, one time me and my family, we, w- we were in Florida and we're at a water park and my dad has this terrible case of like, it's like athlete's foot on steroids. Ew. His feet look like they should be in that category on that website of nasty fat chicks. Like his feet are nargoyles or whatever you said. <laughs> <laughs> they are disgusting, bro. And I'm like embarrassed to be walking around this water park with my dad who has these nasty fucking hobbit feet. So we get up to this one ride and my dad has no, like he doesn't care what anyone else around us thinks about us. So we get up like we're waiting in this line and like when they're when his feet are wet they don't they don't feel as bad right now i didn't know this until we were at waiting in this line so his feet aren't getting wet it's a long line we get to the top and you know how like when you get to the top you get to the like the pool where they put the raft yeah. in and then the people sit in it and they slide you down well we're up at the top and but we're not like next we're like still quite a few back and my dad Keep sneaking over to the pool part behind the lifeguard's back and dipping his nasty feet in the pool. And then they're like, sir, get back in line. Sir, get back in line. And like, so he'll like scurry back to the line. And now his feet are wet. And he's like taking the other heel and scratching them. And I'm like, dude, everybody's looking at us in his nasty feet. And then like 10 seconds later, he goes back over to the water, puts his feet in when they're not looking. Like, 10 times and the lifeguard was finally like stop putting your feet in the water stop doing it we see you stop <laughs> and i'm just like i'm in high school i'm wanting to die as all these people are looking at me and my dad and his nasty fucking feet just like ah it was the worst dude i wanted to i wanted the earth to swallow me whole dude I, uh, so almost on that level, right? When I did that dead dad show, I'd never talked about it on stage before, but, uh, I'm like, I was like, anybody here, like you guys ever see your dad's penis before? <laughs> and I was like, not by force. It's not like, you know, I'm not talking about that. It's not like I'm asking like if your dad was like, ah, oh, look at it. I was like, no, that's, <laughs> I was like, um, you know, I, I remember being a kid when I used to, like, I used to take showers with my dad and stuff like that. I was like. I remember the first time I saw my dad's penis, I was like, dude, that looks like a water gum stuck in a burning bush. <laughs> I was like, you know, like a, it looked like a waterlogged acorn <laughs> just stuck there, you know? Uh, I remember like looking at it and being like, oh man, so. It, he could it, never take a picture of journeys. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, I remember like the thing that I had is like, oh man, so it does get bigger. All right, whatever. But like, uh, I was like, this is the part that I talked about at that show. I go, uh, but I'll do you guys. I'll do you one better. I was like, anybody here ever see their dad's butthole? <laughs> oh, what and the I was like, fuck, dude, dude? I was like, I'll wait. <laughs> anybody here? Any Anybody? I'm like, I remember one time 
when I rose to the occasion as best son on the planet, my dad was using the bathroom, and I'm hearing him call my name from the bathroom. Dude, I swear, if you go down a road, I, I have a tragic story Dude. about my mother. So my dad calls me in the bathroom. He's literally sitting, cupping his dick and balls on the toilet seat. <laughs> and he's like standing <laughs> over the seat. He's like, this fucking Nick, let spread. me wrap my legs around you, see if you can lift me. <laughs> 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 no, but he's like, he's like hovered over the bowl. And I walk in and I could clearly see just shit in the toilet. And my dad's just standing there, just fucking holding fruit basket. And just fucking hovered over the toilet bowl. And he goes... I need you to check the other bathroom, see if we got any toilet paper left. Why'd you have to walk in the fucking bathroom for that? <laughs> That's a through-the-door conversation. The door was completely open. <laughs> well, so that he's is, shitting. He could have texted he's, you. He's, Anything could have no, happened. No, it was early 90s, dude. There was no texting. He could have yelled. cell phones. He could have yelled, dude, bro. So it was when... So literally, he's in my parents'... My parents' bed, bedroom had a bathroom attached Did to it. Did he have socks on? Use his socks. Dude, what? he's butt-ass naked. Dude, just he and he looks like you know those how, like how young you know are how you? I'm like seven or eight, maybe nine. <laughs> so I'm like Frankie's age, and I walk in and I see <laughs> the man that I grew up thinking like this is my hero. Yeah, he's butt ass naked, standing <laughs> over the fucking toilet seat, hovering, just cradling his dick and balls, <laughs> hairy as fuck. He looks like a fucking ape at the zoo, just <laughs> just standing, just haunched over dude just full on just holding himself and he goes i need you to check the other bathroom see if we got any toilet paper left so i run in the other bathroom <laughs> no i come back i'm no. like dad there's there's no toilet paper <laughs> anywhere he goes anywhere Papa. and i'm like none so he goes i need you to do me a favor go to the linen closet in the hallway grab <laughs> me a pillowcase Oh, what? So my dad, <laughs> I come back. I hand him this pillowcase. Get in the shower. He stands up <laughs> with both hands. Now he's uncupped his dick and balls, <laughs> and he rips the pillowcase open, and I watch his penis <laughs> flap up. <laughs> and at this point, I'm so caught off guard by what's happening that I'm like, oh, what the <laughs> fuck? I watch my dad tear this pillowcase into strips <laughs> turn around spread his ass <laughs> open and wipe his asshole with the pillowcase and hold it in his hand and go grab me a trash bag <laughs> and i went no no dude I, i'm I, clocking out man it wasn't until he handed his hand out with a shit covered <laughs> pillowcase that i was like this is too much i gotta get out of here he's like come on just take it don't make me hold it. And I was like, no, dude, I'm not touching it. <laughs> He's like, just give me a bag. Just give me like a grocery bag. We'll throw it in that and then throw that out. And I was like, oh, dude, I can't. Oh, but like, my God. literally, I remember seeing my dad's butthole and just locking <laughs> in on it and being like, it was like a window into the future. I'm like, <laughs> you know how like in, in, in Greek mythology, when you look at Medusa, the yeah, snakes on Medusa's head, you turn to stone. <laughs> I saw my dad's butthole and immediately went. <laughs> i i froze up and i was like fuck so dude, awesome, I'm, dude i'm stuck i was like there's no way i'm not gonna Can't fucking... break eye contact with like, the brown oh, eye dude, dude. <laughs> it was the uh, the the brown eye sauron dude yeah. i was like Ugh. dude i was froze he's like don't just stand there and i'm like i'm i can't uh. fight or flight baby <laughs> dude my uh, immediately and then like so the other thing i told you about is like how um like growing up as a kid, like my parents were always like, anytime I would cry, my dad would be like, you want something to cry about? I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, here I am in therapy fucking once a week. And I'm like, yeah, dude, of course. Like, good job, bro. You did. <laughs> yeah, here I am. Yeah, I'm, yeah, crying you gave me some, I'm like, I'm crying about it now, dude. Way to go. Yeah. Job well done. You succeeded. <laughs> you, he's like, dude, you, uh, yeah, you gave me something to cry about. Like the long thanks, game, but here punch. we are. Yeah. 30 Hell almost yeah, 34 year old man and i'm like fucking i'm still crying about it thanks Hell dad yeah, bro. that's one of those moments right there i'm like you want something to cry about i'll give you something to cry about i'm like that <laughs> i cry about that on All the mul time. multiple occasions yeah. i think about that moment and it still to this day i'm like shook yeah i got one similar uh i thought it might be where you were going um with your story so 
I'm in like middle school, right? And I'm at my mom's house and all I hear is her just yelling, just yelling. Um, so I go into her room and she's not in a room, but they had a ensuite bathroom, right? Um, and she, I'm like, what, what's going on? She's like, Matthew, I'm having a problem and I need you to come in here and give me an enema. And I'm like. I'm pretty sure I know in, in my brain. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I know what an enema is and that's, I'm not doing that. So I go, what's an enema just so we're on the same page. And she's mm-hmm. like, I need you to stick this thing in my butt. <laughs> Cause if not the doctors say I'm going to die. And I'm like, I don't believe fuck it. It's nice knowing you mom. <laughs> I was like, I don't believe we, we I was like, no run. way, no way. And she's like, yes, it's it's I, I, there's something going wrong with my body and they said if this happens i need to have an enema but i can't do it and i'm like i do exactly what you said i was like can we call 9 can we do you want me to call 911 she's like no they won't get here in time i'm gonna die if you don't give me this enema this is all through the door and i go at least she had that i go all right, I'm call. I'm calling nine one one. I'm not coming in there. She's like, "You're not gonna come in here. I'm gonna die." And she goes, opens up the door. She's like, "This was a test. I was testing you." And I was like, "What the fuck is wrong with you, lady? What the hell?" She was like, "You were gonna let me die." And I was like, "What kind of fucking game was this, mom? What kind of game are you fucking playing dude, here, dude?" Your mom was on some jigsaw shit. Yeah, she was, dude. Liver, liver died. The yeah. choice is yours. <laughs> I was like. You're dead, yo. Sorry, ma. I was like, I'm calling 911. I'm not going in there. I'm not giving Dude. you an enema. I'm that's a it ain't happening, yo. Jesus, man. I was like, you're gonna die. You're gonna die today, I guess. <laughs> On in the bathroom, bathroom floor. I hold the power and I'm not doing it. Dude, I'm fuck not that. fucking doing I it. I couldn't. Uh, uh <laughs> yeah, man. After that, it was just hard to look my dad in the eyes. <laughs> There's so many times where I'd be like, butthole, dude, she, butthole. She came out. She was fully clothed. This, nah. like, you were going to let me die? My man like, was. This was a game to dick you. Dick out, this was He wasn't even wearing a shirt. That was like the worst part. My dad wasn't even like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> he was just. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. He was just. Oh, man. Dick great. out. Just he was full, not porky pig in it. Dude, just, just straight up pig in it. Dick naked, dude. <laughs> The word, dude. Oh man, Dick naked. Dick oh, naked. Hell yeah, like dude. Duke Nukem. Duke Dick Nukem. naked. Oh shit. Psh, psh, psh. Oh shit. All right. Well, uh, dude, that was a killer. Fucking, that was a killer. First step back. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Good job. Uh, well, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed some of our traumas. Yeah. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Had a good time. Uh, you got anything coming up? Um, this Saturday. Push Comedy Theater, second Saturday. Nice. This Sunday, Richmond, another round. Patrick Logan hosting. Great guy. Uh, fun show. Patrick Devine's headlining that. Ryan Dix on it. Pretty sure this episode won't be out by then, so I'm just saying all this for not. But whatever. This is just proof I do get shows sometimes. Two um, shows back to back, mind yeah. you, no less. That's yeah. killer, dude. Yeah. Um, when I had COVID, I had to cancel two shows that I... I know. That sucked. We talked about that. I was pretty bummed on it. I was like, yeah. damn, man. We're doing so much work to try to get you on some spots. Yep. And then um, uh, in July, have one with uh, Funny Bone, the roast battle. Yep. I think we're both both on that. I'm on that one, unless uh, something else comes up. But yeah. I don't. I'm going to guess that Sandman roast battle thing ain't happening. The return of the Rahaha Rahaha or whatever. Rahaha. Rahaha, yeah. Uh no probably not <laughs> but um, not gonna happen anymore. I've got a bunch of stuff coming up I have a bunch of don't tell dates um the tenth which is this Saturday so that doesn't really count uh the sixteenth seventeenth uh June sixteenth June seventeenth are don't tell shows. Uh, I have June 24th is the Hans Kim show. Uh, there's a don't tell show on the 24th in Richmond that night. I won't be running it, uh, but there will be another show there that night. There's a bunch of other stuff. I think there's June 29th is another don't tell show. I think the 28th, maybe, uh, June 30th. I'll be back at Granby theater with Terry McNeely. Uh, 
and then like a bunch of other shit coming out in July. Oh yeah, dude. Um, yes, yeah, some got a few things coming up. I'm pretty excited for it. Hell yeah. Had a couple things get canceled and moved around on me, but you know, trying to do what I can. As of July 1st, I'm full time. Hell yeah, dude. Comedy full time, part time, work time. Our little silly boy. He's our little silly man. I'm growing up. <laughs> But uh, yeah, sweet. All right, man. This was fun. Uh, Love you, buddy. We'll do this next time. Bye.